It is 6.37 on June 20th, 2019. At about uh, 3.30, I got a phone call from Kaiser. I was in a meeting, and they left a message saying that uh, my prescription had to be renewed, and the only way to renew it is to pay for it up front. And so when I renewed it online, it went through, and there was no problem. So I get a phone call. That was two days ago in the evening. So about 36 hours ago, I guess. Um, so when I uh, I get a call this afternoon telling me that my prescription uh, was not filled because the card didn't go through. So they ran it again and go, oh, it went through. But uh, we're gonna mail you your prescription. So it won't go out till tomorrow. So that'd be the 21st. Uh, I'm out of medicine. So they're gonna mail it. And uh, this is the kind of thing that I've been dealing with with Kaiser for a year now. So I called him back and told him I'm coming to pick it up in a couple hours. So it is now 638. It is it easily uh, two and a half hours after that phone conversation. They told me I would get a text. They told me that I would know if it's done. I have no idea if it's done. I use the app. I go in there. You can't tell if the prescription's been filled or it's not been filled. But the problem I've had since I got here, I will go sometimes a week. If I call it in four days, like they say, sometimes I will go a week without my prescriptions being filled. After the, you know, four days before I run out. So I'm going 11 days after I call in prescription. So it's kind of the same thing over and over. Uh, I just made an appointment for my doctor, who I've only seen one time in a year. And I've been in multiple times with sinus issues and other things like that, and they refuse to, uh, give me a prescription for Allegra D. At one point, the doctor telling me to drive to Washington and buy it up there and just drive back. And so I've been taking Allegra D for over 20 years and it has completely almost stopped any of the allergy symptoms, the sinus infections, uh, I, ear infections. I get one about one a year is where I was getting them almost regularly 20 years ago before I got on Allegra D. They didn't want to give me the prescription because it's not in their pharmacy. And so they tell you, oh, you're gonna have to pay full price for it if you go somewhere else, so why don't we give you Sudafed and you can mix it with this and mix it with that. I'm not a big believer in mixing medications, even though basically Allegra D is an allergy medicine with a decongestant. But still, I don't believe in it. I don't think it's a good idea and I don't wanna get into that. So I wanted Allegra D, that's all I wanted it's you know you can it, they act like it is a terrible drug you know like uh heroin but they'll also at kaiser i've heard the stories about someone needs a hip or a knee replacement they'd rather you be on oxycontin for seven months than get you in to get you off that medication so i'm headed into kaiser right now in beaverton to see if i can get my prescription that was called in two days ago and has been uh talked to that i need it ready this evening and so we'll see if they have my prescription I don't think they're gonna have it I have a feeling I got about another two hour wait to get a prescription because it's a system where I got to go up to the counter and then I'm probably gonna have to tell them that I would like it filled even though I've already done it online I'm gonna have to tell them I would like it filled to get my prescription and then wait another 25 30 minutes for them to fill it I'm not seeing how it is so hard to put 20 pills in a, in a bottle. I don't get that. I don't get how it is faster to have you check into a pharmacy to tell them you want your prescription filled, even though you've already done a refill and called it in or done it online. And then you got to wait again. And I don't see how it's efficient if they're making you go to the counter twice. Now they got to have two customer service agents deal with you. So the last time I got a prescription here, I had to go down to the pharmacy out of the same building where the doctor wrote the prescription. I had to go down there and say, yes, I would like it filled. So they filled it, but I had to wait another 25 minutes. It was 20 minutes to get to the front of the line to tell them I want it filled. It was another 20 minutes to get back up there once they filled it. It took them, I watched, it took them all about five minutes to fill the prescription. But I had to wait because they had so many people doing this double thing. But not only did they do that, 
but once I got up there, they wouldn't give me the prescription until I met with the pharmacist. So three people were involved in just speaking to me to find out if I want a prescription that had already been written by the doctor and sent to the pharmacy. And at this point, I cannot think of anything worse than what Kaiser does. You can't get into your doctors. I just made an appointment. It's the 20th of June. The soonest I could get in to see my, my family doctor that they, they've assigned us, July 3rd. That's 13 days. What are you supposed to do when you're sick? And if you're sick and you do one of the video uh, appointments or you do a uh, phone appointment, they have a policy of not giving you more than five days of medication. So if you have a sinus infection, they're going to give you five days of medication and if it's not the z pack what's going to happen? What happened to me? I've been sick for over a month with sinus symptoms. So much so that they gave me a 20-day dose of antibiotics at this point. So we're headed in there right now. Sorry for the six-minute dissertation. This is probably going to be a long video.